Hey, what's up, YouTube? The patch notes for the winter season of Guilty Gear Season 2 are finally out, and I, we already took a look at these notes, and they're super exciting. So I kind of, in this video, I kind of want to go over what the big changes are, what I think about the patch, how it'll shake out, and just kind of give you a summary of what my, what my thoughts are. So, um, cool. Let's get into it. This is going to be a little different on the edit that I just kind of want to get on the YouTube uh, as quickly as possible. So if you guys don't mind and, and want to hear, uh, see more content like this, please consider like, sharing, and subscribing. So um, I, I want to get mainly to the changes, but there are some general changes. I think the big couple things are there's crossplay, right? So this is all describing about how crossplay works. It looks like that. Pretty cool. Um, there's some bugs, very minor. Um, the other thing is you can report players on Netplay. This is very exciting. That means certain cheaters, like a video I just made very recently, you can now report them. Very, very cool. The other thing, I didn't see where it's listed, but oh yeah, here, you can see here, you can now see the ping before you accept the match. I know me, I've went into Celestial a bunch of times and I've accidentally accepted a 250 millisecond ping match. That will be no more. Uh, very great change. Looking forward to that. All right, now to the battle changes. So <laughs> this is actually really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to a lot of these. Um, the first change here, this is talking about the, um, the tension gauge, right? And so one of the issues in Guilty Gear is that if you break out of pressure after blocking a lot, you're not really rewarded because your opponent gets a lot of tension and you don't have that much. And the idea behind this tension gauge change is it reverses that, right? So if you block for a while, you start to get more meter than your opponent. Um, I think that's, that's really cool. I think this takes the game in the right direction because blocking in Guilty Gear is really, really hard. <laughs> I, I scroll past your favorite change skip rating option. Oh, you can skip the rating update. That is uh, that is pretty dope. So you can keep rematching the the person instead of yeah, getting getting switch. Anyways, um, that's really cool. The risk level depletion over time is now faster. That's good. Um, so the idea being that if you're in a really long block string and you keep getting block stringed, um, and then you finally break out. You don't have to potentially be at high risk when you take a hit at neutral. Um, again, just kind of rewarding defense, making defense a little strong, making blocking a little stronger. Uh, I think blocking, uh, you know, people like the mash, people like the back dash, people like the DP, um, don't like the block as much. I think increasing the real world blocking is really good. Um, Risk level also resets on Psych Burst. Um, I didn't really notice it that much because usually when you activate Psych Burst, you're at advantage. But I guess it, it kind of hedges um, a little bit in the sense that, you know, if you burst and then you mess up, at least you're not going to take big as big of damage, right? Now, this change, oh my god, this hurt box on 6P doesn't sound like that big of a deal. It's a huge deal, especially for Bridget. Bridget had probably the worst 6P in the game where the Hurt Box came out um, really early. And so there's certain moves like Bike and Jump H where you just couldn't anti her. Really, really stupid. Now, it's going to be homogenized, right? So certain things that Bridget couldn't get out of. So, for example, go lose Jump D or Bike and Escobari, Bike and Jump H, Ram, JS, Ram, Ground Pokes. You should be able to 6P. Um assuming they change it like middle of the cast right and this would also nerf like really really strong 6ps such as eno um but again i think it's good to homogenize that way you know like like you can do the certain things against every character right it's a good change um special moves of retreating movement um so basically the idea is that let's say i'm I, i'm happy ks i throw a curse and I go backwards. Um, I'm not going to lose tension. I think that's really cool. Um, it seems like that's not really good for the balance because I might hit some characters harder than others. But as you'll see in the patch notes, it actually hits like the top tiers. So I'm cool with it. Um, base damage scaling. Um, basically, the idea is like certain moves. Like if you look at Ramathal's frame data, you see this proration number is 100% on a lot of things. So if you've ever been hit by a Ram Rekka and you just die, the reason is that it has 100% proration, meaning that the next hit doesn't scale at all. Um, I think this is what they're going to hit. Some moves like this, um, which means you know Ram Rekka combos will will do less damage if it starts with uh, starts with the Rekka. 
So good change. Uh, this is just uh, kind of describing the um, system mechanics. This is showing Eno change. Um, this is actually very impactful for Eno. Before you used to be able to hit the note and it would go away. Now you can't hit the note, it'll, it'll hit them. Really, really nice. All right, so Soul, Soul didn't get that many changes. Um, Soul 5S and the 5H now combos easier, which means you get more damage off a of far hit. Um, Gunflame, it basically, it looks like it's worse in pressure, but better in neutral. So it basically, it'll recover faster. Um, it'll be less total frames overall. Um, but if it moves faster, that means your um, your frame advantage is going to be less potentially after the uh, after you block the gun flame. Um, the six S decreases attack level. Um, that means it has less block stun. No longer launches the opponent on the grounded hit. Um, that means that you know you used to be able to get a I think vortex, and now you can't get as much damage. Right. So looks like six S reward less five far five S reward more. Gunflame, a little bit better neutral, a little less uh, defense. I would put him, he's about even, right? I'll tell you what, as we do this, we will, um, let's let's say who, who gets buffed and, um, yeah, like who gets buffed and whatnot. So we say, I'd say Soul is about about even, right? Um, it's not not really that impactful of, uh, of a change for soul. So Kai, um, he gets like a, a couple minor buffs, right? Um, the idea between behind Kai is that um, stand heavy slash frontal hitbox. That's gonna be better in neutral. Um, a lot of people use Kai's six H and five S in neutral. Now maybe five H will have a little bit more um, use in neutral with the expanded frontal hitbox. Fuja arc means you get. Um, additional combo potential. I think these changes are interesting, right? So Sacred Edge gives Guard Crush effect. So they did this to Ramothal Super, um, meaning that if you did the Ramothal Beam Super on block, you got like a mix up after, but no one ever does it because you can use that fifth meter in a lot um, more advantageous ways. And I think it's going to be the same thing with Kai, except, you know, if you throw it out, and they block it, it's it's still your turn easier. So I think this is a slight buff for um for Kai. We'll put them we'll put them up here. Alright, so May, I actually think these May changes are are pretty are pretty nice, right? So the big change with May is that the dolphin has reduced recovery on hit or block. So if you guys don't know. S Dolphin on hit, on hit is actually minus, which means it's actually, as the defender against May, it's your turn against May after she successfully guessed right and hit you. Um, that's no longer a thing, and or maybe it's no longer a thing. Um, but basically, it means it means May can take your turn easier. Um, I think that's actually huge for May. It's going gonna, it's gonna to greatly increase the, uh, the reward on S Dolphin, right? And this is one of our most used moves. I think this is big. Jumping heavy slash gets counter hit, so you'll be able to punish her easier. That's this is a nerf. Six or three K increased active frames means that there's potential to make it safer. It so reduced recovery, increased active frames means you might be able to potentially make it safe, right? If you make them block the end part of the move, um, but. Other than that, yeah, I guess it'll be a little better just to throw out neutral. Um, forward jump, increased movement distance. More movement's always good. That's a buff. Now, this is um, this is interesting. This is her um, beach ball move. The hitbox now remains after a projectile hits the ground, which means it has more active frames, which means that there might be potential to use this on Oki. There might be potential to like throw us a neutral and deter dash forwards more. It's a buff. How much of a buff? We don't know yet until we, uh, until we actually test that out. I think this is uh, probably a plus plus for me. I think these are very sim pretty significant buffs, especially the dolphin. Um, and we're probably gonna have to have a plus 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 tier because there's some characters got better changes than me for sure. All right, so Axel, um, 
these actual changes are interesting. So I actually didn't even know he could do this. So you know, on if you've ever blocked Axel, and let's say he does a 2H, and sometimes they can cancel the 2H really, really late into, um, into Snail. Well, he can now do that with his 5P and 2P. Um, it's not going to be as late because, of, you know, lower attack level and all that, but it's still really impactful, right? Um, 5H the opponent will now be in a cr crouching state on counter hit. Um, that just means, I mean, Axel's weren't really throwing this out, so I think this is a kind of a non-change. But if they do throw it out, they get counter hit, then I guess... Maybe potentially a little more damage. Very unimpactful. Um, jump K, jump D. Sounds like it makes the combos more consistent. Jump P, uh, same idea. I think that's very much a non-change. This is interesting. The Winter Manus. Um, add tumble effect, which my guess is if you hit it in the combo, you're going to have more frame advantage, right? Um... So maybe he gets like better Oki situations. Maybe you can actually get like a close safe jump and then go for more mix up or something. Um, snail increase knockback. That's good. Just keeping them away from Axel. Rainwater. This is um, first instance you'll see this. Decreases tension balance. Increases negative value. That means that you lose meter and it makes it easier for you to go into negative penalty. So uh, yeah, I think this is um, this is a nerf, but this draws in on hit or block is a buff, right? More consistent combos and your plus and having them close to you when your plus is good. So um, I'd say overall this is a buff. I I think maybe plus one or plus two. I'll, I'll put them in plus one. But I mean overall, it's it's pretty good for Axel, right? I don't think the tension. You're not really throwing rainwater out that much, and we all know how much it decreases. I think it, overall it's pretty good. Um, so chip, uh, not very much here. You get more reward off Alpha Blade. Okay, sure. Um, at high level, you're not really hitting Alpha Blade much. Um, the the Senshu is faster. Um, you weren't reacting it to before. Um, you're not going to react to it now. But the idea, this is his overhead, by the way, from his Rekas. But I think the idea is that if you hit the um, the low Rekka on crouching, which is a little weird... You shouldn't really be hitting on crouching um, because it's a low. You should be hitting on a standing. Um, you get to combo it. I, I think this is very minimal impact. Um, this is like, I want to say even because they're, they're all strictly buffs, but this is like very, very minor changes. So this is like the less, <laughs> this is like a half a plus. <laughs> All right, Potemkin gets some interesting changes. Um, oh, Yuli's meter rate? Tens tension balance? I don't know about that, Clarinet. I guess that's something. Oh, yeah, you're right about tension balance. Tension balance is the internal parameter that affects the amount of tension gained. The amount gained increases when your tension balance is high. Oh, okay. So it means the moves you do after will reduce your potential tension. Okay, sure. So not as bad of a nerf as I thought, but still, still nerf, right? All right. So Potemkin. Um, so he, the idea is he got some he got some bu buffs to his pokes, right? Far five S, far five H, um, better pokes, sweep, reduced recovery. So that's a buff to just throwing it out there um, or in block strings um, heat knuckle so heat knuckles the the grab move I think the idea behind this is it can draw the opponent in on guard crush so basically that means when they block in the air you'll be able to get a better mix up uh, mega fist again I don't think these are that impactful decreases tension balance increase negative value because um, typically you're not running away as Potemkin so they increase the start, the reduce the attack start with flip. Maybe you can react to certain projectiles better. I think that's the main thing. Hammerfall, this is interesting, right? So if you can, this is armor, right? And so if you can armor through certain like block strings easier, this is actually a huge buff. So I think this is something, something that definitely has to be, has to be tested. 
we'll see. But this could definitely drastically improve his defense, right? Or it could be just good for like reacting to certain moves. So I think overall, this is probably a plus plus buff. Um, again, there's there's other patches that have buff characters, but I think um, you know I, I think these are good changes, especially if this hammerfall change is like a lot quicker. Yeah, is a pop player so happy with these changes? Yeah, these are good changes. Um, Faust is interesting. Um, a lot of this stuff increases knockback, so if you just get a random hit, um, it's easier to throw out an item. Sure. Um, mix, 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 decrease attack startup, so more consistent. So a lot of consistency. Um, I think this isn't that big of a change. Um, so I'll get basically more knockback, more consistency. Um, I'll get Faust a, a plus here, if I can find Faust right here. Definitely more than a uh, chip, though. It's definitely not frame one armor. That'd be that'd be way too cheap. Faust lost super PRC and 6P height. Where did you see? We, we don't know if he lost 6P height, OK? We know they homogenized the 6Ps, but they didn't homogenize the, the, the hitbox on them. They only homogenized the hurtbox in the startup, right? Um, so we don't we don't know about that super PRC. Did they actually make that a thing? Did they actually remove super PRC? I don't I don't think I saw that. Yeah, it's only her box changes for six P. So yeah, he got strictly buff. Yeah, I don't think he lost uh, super PR. Yeah, if you see something about super PRC bug, let me know. But I I didn't see anything. Um, so Milia, I think um, the Milia changes are actually more impactful than you think. Um, the number one complaint about Mi from Milia players is, oh, I can't make my block string safe. <laughs> Even though you have a bunch of cancel options. Well, now she can make her block string safe, most likely. Um, Tandem top S is more plus or more less minus on block. Um, sweeps also reduce recovery, so you can't just super her after sweep. Um, I know the Milia players are happy about this. Number one complaint I heard about Milia. And you got some other just qu good quality of life stuff. 6K, reduced recovery. Maybe you can get a better combo. Depends how much they reduce, reduce recovery. Or it might be plus or better on block. Um, 5H now bounces the opponent higher. You could probably get better combos. In general, I think this just looks really good for her. We'll give her a plus plus. Oh, our scene was super flash dog trap at the end of the Roman cancel. Oh, fixed a bug where the tension gauge would not deplete correctly when a Roman cancel activated simultaneously with a super flash of certain moves. Uh, I think that's still up in the air because it's before the super flash, right? So we'll have to see. We'll have to see about. Uh, we'll have to see about that. I, I think it's gonna stay the same. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a bug, but we shall find out. Yeah, that, that's something. Again, some things in the patch you just you have to actually test out. All right, Zado. Um. All the downplaying Zyos have done led to him getting buffs, of course. But they're pretty minor. I think the biggest buff that um, Zyo got was the jump D. Speed up the timing when Zyo pauses before the attack is active. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I know the Zyo mains before didn't like how they changed the D. Maybe it's just for the better. Um, Sun Void, I think, is pretty impactful where... Sometimes you could interrupt them if he did Sun Void at the wrong time. Now it's hard to interrupt. But again, I don't think these are that big of a change, except maybe the JD. But again, can't test them out. I'll put in M plus one. Ramoth all the additional range on Crouch Heavy Slash makes it easier to go into high damage combos, make her more threatening at close range. Um, so the idea of this is that 2H you get more damage from, right? Um, or it's more easier to access that, her high damage combos. Jump D, it means it can cross up. Um, sure. I, I don't feel like Rams are in that situation where you get a cross up very often, so I don't think it's that big of an issue. Maybe on Oki, like after a throw. 
Um, but these are big nerfs, right? Um, so this is the Rekka. After the third hit of Rekka, you get, how do I say, uh, you can escape easier. So she probably gets worse. Uh, Oki after the third Rekka definitely doesn't get, probably does, definitely doesn't get a safe jump. And Rekka does less damage, so the Rekka loops are going to do way less. That's going to be very nice. Um, Leo, I can't, this, this is, um, so Ram, we'll put Ramathal on like minus one. I don't think, I don't think Ram got hurt that bad. Um, Leo, I cannot believe they buffed Leo. I think this character's top five. He's been top five. And they buffed him, right? Because Japan doesn't think he's good. Sure. Um, so it looks like he gets better Oki from sweep. That sounds really scary. Um, I don't know. I, I don't like that at all. Um, uh, 236S is probably easier to be made safe, but of course you can IB it. Um, still good. Certain hurt boxes. So, so for example, Bridget has combos that work on everyone but Leo. Um, my guess is that now those combos work on Leo. That'll be really nice, right? And... I think 6k, decreased knockback, decreased horizontal distance, barren combos, barren block strings. So overall, he just got some quality, good quality of life stuff, but he got some jank removed, but this is still a buff for Leo. I'll put him in uh, plus one. I really wanted them to nerf him. <laughs> yeah, Leo wasn't winning enough. All right, so Nagoriyuki. This, he took the biggest L in this patch, I think, which is good. This character needed to take a huge, gigantic L. Um, yeah, screw Nago. So it looks like Nago, t one, takes more damage when you're when he's high blood. And you guys know Nago's high blood a lot. Um, 2S, which is the, yeah, but everyone complains about increased recovery. Thank God. Far 5S, um, so the third hit is super punishable. Now, it's probably just like, somewhat punishable you probably don't get like a run-up full combo that's fine i think that's a fair trade-off stand heavy slash reduce lower hitbox that means so for example as the eno player or as a sim player i would try to stroke under or elk hunt under the 5h and i just get clipped um now my guess is that those moves win thank god yeah faust may be able to crawl it and then Fukio now reduces tension balance, now reduces negative value. Um, I think this is the most impactful of all those changes because Nago is always Fukioing back, right? And now Fukio, Nago has to take more of a risk for uh, Fukio. So I think overall, um, yeah, this is pretty impactful. I, I think Nago's in minus minus. Is it enough? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I don't think it's enough. But I think it's a really good start. I like where this is going. Uh, I think he's still top five free in this next patch. But, um, yeah, I mean, it depends on some of the values, right? Depends on how much they nerf blood gauge. Depends on how much they nerf to us. Um, so Gio got some interesting changes. Um, they're mostly just... 5S and 2H are better on combos. Um, lead to more reward. Sure. Um, ground throw is pretty much a non-change. Um, Soul Puente, that's her, is her flip move. Um, my understanding, it's uh, harder to anti -air, harder to cross up. I, I, I really don't get these changes. Um, they seem like kind of kind of non-change. I know this, this change right here is to... Um, to nerf like the multiple flip combos but it this first change um makes some of the initial combos easier so basically just change some combo routes um overall buff but not that significant def, def, definitely uh definitely nice though and depending on how much these combo routes do it could um it could be very very significant right you could get a lot more combo damage with geo so maybe she's like actually like up here and then and start a plus plus because they seem like a lot of the combos um it seems like it changed a lot of her combo routes 
All right, Anji Mito. So Anji, um, I think he, he kind of the same thing is like certain characters get more reward off of certain buns, and Anji gets more reward off of. 5H, right? So you get additional combos. You can go into Fujin, Rin, which means that his reward for throwing out 5H, which is not the best button to throw out in neutral, but in, like, let's say frame traps, right? Frame trapping of 5H is a lot more rewarding, right? What's up, bro? Jerry Kong. Um, Fujin, decrease horizontal knockback business. Yeah, so it's kind of a buff, kind of a narc. I think this is a buff. I think it's a buff. So things will combo easier. Um, I, I don't know if it's on block or hit. I'm guessing just hit, but um, could be wrong. Um, Nagiha, again, more combo potential. So basically, Anji does more damage. Cool. Um, from certain situations. Made his stuff more consistent. That's what on every Anji player complains about. So we'll, we'll keep him here. All right, so Eno. I actually think Eno is eating pretty well. So Dash, you can jump out of quicker. Um, oh, the timing is now the same as canceling the startup of a jumping attack with faultless defense. This actually isn't that much. It seems like you could jump a lot quicker, but um, it's actually not that much, right? But the cool thing is that you can jump cancel at the beginning of a hover dash, which lets you go further than normal jump. I don't think it's going to be that significant either but it is a, is a change nonetheless. Um, I think the note change is the biggest thing. The fact that like you can't hit her note makes her neutral way better, right? And uh, stroke changes means you could probably stroke under certain things. Um, that's cool. So, so stroke kind of like functions like a 6P. It's better on like wake up or like after FD or something. Um, dive kick, reducing landing recovery is actually pretty significant too. In the sense that, uh, so, so there's kind of like a 50, 50 situation, like a very ghetto 50, 50, where if you dive kick, um, you can either jump, cancel the dive kick and then come down with a button, or you can just dive kick and then throw after. Right. And that dive kick in the throw is going to be better because it's going to be harder to hit her out. So unless you have like a fast high hitting move that covers both options, um, she might be able to take steal a turn easier with dive kick. So I think it's uh, I think that's actually a pretty good, pretty good buff. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you can't you can't do like soul six H to to hit the hit the thing. So Golos took a massive L. Thunderbird goes away on hit. That's all you need to know. Um, <laughs> very very nice change. Um, so Golos is definitely people are complaining about that. That honestly is like significant enough. It might be a minus minus because that. It was like such a huge nerf to the gold Lewis, but I'll put him in just minus for now. Um, yeah. So Jacko, um, to be honest, it, it kind of, I kind of get the same feeling where certain moves like throw servant, right? You get wall bounce effects. So certain starters get more damage, right? Countdown. I'm, I'm going to be real. Countdown's still probably trash. Um, Servant, these are just glitches. Dust attack. Maybe it's easier to convert after dust into um, into minion. So that's a buff. Crouch, crouch S. Change the servant's trajectory when hitting them with this attack. That new move higher and further. Uh, I guess it's just a different way to throw your minions out. I think it's a minor buff. Uh, still pretty nice, though. I don't think it's that significant though. Uh, I think I think Jacko and like Chip feel like they're they're pretty good because they're already really good before this patch. Um. Oh yeah, where are we putting Eno on the chart? I think just plus, but probably on like the higher end of plus. All right, so Happy Chaos took a nerf, right? The big thing this is this change right here. This the four K. So four K is is good because. It like lets you do restand combos or keep them standing combos. So you could do 5k, 6k, 5k, 6k. My guess is you can't do that anymore, right? And if you do something like 5s and the 6k, it probably has a gap. So it means that certain happy chaos pressure that was really strong before now has more gaps. So if you want to make stuff gapless, you have to take more risk. Very good. 
Um, these are kind of non-changes. The JD drawing in the opponent on hit or block makes things probably more consistent. Cause especially like on a cross-up situation, sometimes they get they get pushed out. Now that won't happen. Um, so that's a buff to Happy Chaos. And then scapegoat and cursed reducing his overall meter is gonna be good, right? Because if Happy Chaos gets 50, he's gonna be zoning your ass out. Yeah, I think the wall wall bounces in general are almost always buffs. So I think Happy Chaos is either... Uh, I think this actually might be a minus minus nerf. I, I feel like all of these kind of like took... Took an L. All four of these characters kind of took an L. I don't think Rams L is as bad as the other characters, but... Alright, so Biken, very minor changes. Tatami Gaishi, you can do like instant air dash back. Tatami, Saf and the super jump. Minor change. Yozan... So you can do cross up Yuzansen and it'll hit easier. That's good. And the hitbox of the explosion, that's that's obviously a buff, right? So very minor changes. Again, this is like chip level changes, just doesn't really do too much. But against like heavy this is actually pretty annoying. Against like heavyweights, this would drop. Now this is again dropping its heavies. I think that's the biggest change. So testament, uh, again, I kinda of think these aren't big changes. Um Actually, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't, I didn't quite get this before. All right, so two HS draws the opponent and hit her block, reduce the launch. I, I, I don't think it's that big of a uh, deal. It's probably a slate buff, right? Nostrova increase active frames for first and second hits. Um, combos will drop a little less. Sure. Now the fireball, Grave Reaper means you can do one Grave Reaper into another, right? So I actually have to test this because I don't, I don't even know how this feels uh, currently. Yeah. Reduce knockback on the strike part. So I mean, this means you get uh, better combos from the HS version, sure. So... So you see, if I try to do a fireball into another fireball, I just get the 5S. So that means I'll be able to do a fireball and then, oh my God, that seems obnoxious. Oh my, no, 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 no. That's, that's a huge buff. All right, all right. I'm not looking forward to fighting that. Yeah, you guys can have fun. <laughs> Testament war crimes. Yeah, you could charge the S fireball and then throw H fireball. Oh no, that sounds that sounds scary. However, the best part of the patch is here, boys. The best part of the patch is here. Bridget. I think Bridget is easily the most buff character in this version. Easily this this plus 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 tier is made for her. Uh sync on new changes, by the way. So Crouch P, expand lower hitbox and hurtbox. Um, sure, that just means you can um, poke people out easier, stop stop approaches. Uh, I still don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal because like you can't really convert off of it, right? So I, I this is not that big of a change. Um, 6P is huge, right? So 6P, you couldn't get much from further distance. Now you, at least you get a, knock, uh, a knockdown. Wait, the blowback is the same as when hitting a crouching opponent. What does it look like against a crouching opponent? This actually might not be as big, as impactful as I thought. Sing no change is basically a nerf. Uh, I I think Sin's worst mashups got nerfed, so I think overall it's pretty good for Sin. All right, so on crouch. Oh, I've never known this. I was, I've been playing Bridget for three months. I did not know that they fly away on Crouch, but on Stand Hit, they just... St okay, sure. But the whole point of this change is that you get something like this, right? And like, let's say Bridget is doing like, throwing this out. 
Now, I don't know if this is um, a, a buff or nerf, because if it's not in counter hit, then um, you'll at least get something. But if it's counter hit, I don't know if you get anything, right? Do you get anything off Crouch? Yeah, I think you still get something. So, yeah, I think that's, that's a straight buff. That's nice. So, like, certain characters won't be in counter hit state. You can just hit them out. Um, this means 5SS, 5HH, expanded lower hitbox and hurtbox. Um, I'm, if I'm dreaming, this... If, if I'm lucky, this, this will connect. Um, I doubt that's the case, but on the bright side, like, it just means Faust can't duck it, so... Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Now, here's the juicy stuff. Stop and dash. So this is the, the fireball. Increased damage, Bridget. This is like the only increased damage the whole patch, right? So that means, yeah, Bridget needs to do more damage, sure. But any damage is welcome. Increased movement speed of the projectile. Um, I think that's a buff. Um, mostly because, you know, at certain ranges they could jump out or they could low profile the orb. Now they can't, most likely. Expanded proximity requirement for the attack to connect. That's the same idea as uh, as the, the Eno note change. I don't know quite what that affects though. Maybe impacts um, like stuff like fireball clashes and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, I, the only thing I can think of is a fireball clash. I thought at first it was hitbox, but it's not hitbox. Yeah, so that's what I mean. Like, like let's say I throw a fireball, and yeah, I, I think oh, I think it's gonna bypass fireballs, which I think is actually a buff. Yeah, exactly, Neptune. But it will be less plus. So, but I think overall it's a it's a buff. It, if it doesn't clash with fireballs, like let's say it it just goes through be like uh like uh Thunderbird. That's actually huge. That's actually huge. I think that's actually how it works. I, I could be wrong. All right, anyways, stop. Th this is the biggest change. This is the biggest change. Stop and dash. That's her 214S, 214H. Reduced recovery. This means that there's... Yeah, so if I do stuff like this in a block string, um, now I can, I can like get away from that easier. Let's say I'm doing something like this. This not didn't, used to not safe jump. It's most likely going to safe jump now, right? Um, if I do this after like uh, a knockdown, like maybe I could probably, I could probably get better Oki, right? After a throw mid screen, I could do this. I could probably get like a meat, uh, actual true meaty 5S or something. There's a, uh, yeah, ton, tons of good stuff. Tons of good stuff. Um, this is, this is actually immensely huge. Now 214K, um, decreased knockback basically more consistent combos and uh they say you get how do i say um actually it doesn't say anything more potent options i don't know what that means but the big thing is you, you get better combos hopefully um on hit and block you you land quicker and you can still get a JD or a 2K. If you can't get a JD or 2K, um, this might be bad, actually. If you can't get a JD, but I think you still should be able to get JD or 2K. So I think it's a buff. Um, this activates as a yo-yo turns to Bridget. She now moves towards it where the yo is placed. The idea behind this is like, there's certain setups like, so you see how like Bridget didn't really fly. She just kind of like, went to the ground i don't think that will happen anymore right um so it basically it makes our oki more consistent that's that's a buff um fix the bug where double jump air dash air back dash cannot be used in certain situations my guess is like after wall break um that's a buff counter hit ends quicker i don't know when that impacted things but sure uh that's a buff dp that's looks like a bug fix i have no clue what this is talking about um I think it's a non-change. So okay, two three six K kickstart my heart. This is this might actually be huge. Expanded proximity requirement for the attack to connect. I actually I don't quite know. This actually might be a nerf. This actually might be a nerf. 
I, I'm I'm honestly not sure, right? So the the proximity requirement thing. So okay. When a proximity requirement is added to attack, that means it'll no longer connect unless within the defined range of the opponent's character's position. The range of the proximity requirement depends on the attack. Oh, this is a buff. Okay. So the idea is because you are the attack as Bridget, and the basically the sphere around Bridget when the kickstart my heart activates is actually quicker. So this is actually a buff. Um, it also makes it so you're you're more plus. E it's probably easier to space out the the plus frames. So that's a buff. Now, yeah, exact. That's what I'm thinking. It changes that uh, Neptune. So let me. Well, okay. I guess there's a Twitter blue icon. That's cool. All right. Where where is it at? I thought I tweeted it out. Oh yeah, so look at this interaction. <laughs> so you see how that elk hunt just like kind of circumvents the, the scooter? I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. And okay, th this is the biggest change, um, potentially. Break P during kickstart my cart, expand upper hitbox, reduce upper launch with decreased horizontal knockback. Add tumble effect, all right. So this means that we could have a lot more frame advantage after this move, right? So especially in the corner, you might be able to get like uh, something like a 214S um, and then get a, get some Oki after, right? Um, decrease horizontal knockback. It, maybe it works mid-screen. I'm not sure. Um, sounds like it's going to be pretty good, though. Yeah, it should enable more Oki, but we'll see. Expanded upper hitbox? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe there's combo potential with this expanded upper hitbox when you get like something like... Right? So like... Oh my god. Nah, I guess... Yeah, nah, I don't... Yeah, how I say. There's certain situations like, like maybe like you could combo this now and then and then the break would hit and then you get a combo after. I have no clue, but um, I I don't know. There's probably something like that there. Oh yeah, so maybe it beats stuff like Naga Break. Oh, that's actually huge. Yeah, I forgot about that. Same thing with Ram 5K. Okay, that's that's good too. All right. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of this kind of video. I know um, totally unscripted, totally unedited, um, but I want to get these patch notes out, get my thoughts out. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the patch. I think it's going to be good for Bridget Mains. Uh, I think it's going to be a good patch overall. I don't know quite how impactful it is. Um, I think I, I honestly I think the balance is going to stay pretty similar. Um, I, I still think you're, you're going to see characters like Leo um, at the top. I still think um, Nago is still going to be really good. Happy KS is still going to be really good. Uh, Ram is still going to be really good. Um, but, you know, buff, buff the majority of the, the cast. I think it's going to be pretty good for, uh, for them. And it's kind of condensing the tiers, and I think that's always really good. And I'm sure you'll see a couple, a couple sleepers kind of fall through the cracks. Probably a couple of these changes are more impactful than we realized. And, uh, yeah, I think it'll make for a much more balanced game. So... Like, share, subscribe, all that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, you know, I'll be making some uh, vids for the content. Peace. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let's post this to YouTube. Um, can someone make me a thumbnail? <laughs> can someone make me a thumbnail? My editor is asleep. My my paint skills are trash. I'll, I'll like I'll, I'll bribe you with uh, channel points or something. Any, do we got any takers? <laughs> Stream my MS paint skills. All right, I guess I, I guess I could try it.